Happy Rosh Hashanah and Feast of Trumpets. Yes, it is a great day to be alive in Jesus Christ. And I can't believe we're sitting here still. <laughs> I am so excited. Wow. I want to just take a moment and just take this moment in because we have been waiting and waiting for this day to get here. And it's here it's almost hard to believe. When I was a little girl at nine years old, I told my dad, I said, Daddy, who's going to report when the day Jesus comes back? And, you know, I, I don't consider myself a reporter, but I felt like I was reporting a football game. <laughs> but here we are. We're, we're really, really here. And... It's almost as if I can touch the Lord. That's how close I feel. When he said in the word, and I'm paraphrasing because so, I don't have the Bible with me, but when it's close at hand, I mean, I can almost touch him. That's how much it feels. I feel like we're that close. It's so real that you can touch it. So... You know, there's a lot of people that disagree with us, but there's a there's one thing you can't disagree with. It's having faith. Having faith in something you have you can't see, but it's a belief, it's hope, it's joy, it's it's all those things that that is in first Corinthians eight fourteen, I think is the scripture on love. Okay, well, at any rate, what would you say if you were like me? You're seeing these events take place, and it's Feast of Trumpets in Rosh Hashanah. And right now in Israel, the big event that we should be looking for is the sacrifice of the red heifer. This is the beginning of something soon as that takes place, I think that we should watch that for that news story. I, I don't know. I'm not sure what to make of it yet. But that is a story I want to kind of watch for, more or less. The earth is groaning. It's, it's painful to do this report because what... On one hand, it's like... We're excited and ecstatic of the joy of the Lord because we know that the Lord is coming, okay? But it saddens me to report these stories about what's happening. The category two tropical storm that is in the Caribbean. Her, uh, it's a tropical storm, Ian, that is going to also... It's basically headed right into the Gulf of Mexico, okay, on Tuesday. It sh it'll be a Category 4, and I have the link in the description box, so if you want to watch it, BP Earth Watch's report on that, it's spot on. Not only that, but then you got two, three, four different earthquakes that just popped off. 6.2 um, in Indonesia. I believe it's 6.2 or 6.5. I'm, I'm not sure. This is on Dutch Census Channel. I, I have to double check that. But there was a 7.6 in Mexico. And this is what's going on. The earth is groaning. It is the just like what it said in the Bible. These are contractions. The Earth is expanding and it's changing. And we haven't even really touched the surface on all the other things that are going on. That's just a couple items on the bucket list of things that are going on on the Earth's surface. So when we talk about things like this, it's like, okay, it gets really intense. And we have to obviously switch subjects because, you know... We could be here for a while, and I'll run out of tape. But I want to say this before we 
change the subject. There is a lot more going on in this earth that hasn't been reported and hasn't been discussed, and we shall report on it at another time. But for now, because it's Rosh Hashanah and it is in New York, we do want to remember how important this day is because right now we got rapture parties, we got people celebrating, we got people excited, and who wouldn't be excited? We got a beautiful moment here that right now, I feel like Jesus could come any moment. I think we're closer than you think, okay? So start celebrating. And then also there was another thing. I noticed on the feed that people are saying things like, hold on to your crown, don't lose your crown. Whatever this means, there's something to this. That that to me was a sign from the word of, from the word about the Lord is saying something, speaking through the people, his people, about your crown. And it's beautiful. Remember that. Oh, so much to say. And so little time. Okay, listen, I don't want to cut it short, but I want to tell you this. We must celebrate and praise God for this moment. Praise the Lord for this amazing time that we have together as a family of God. And you know what? We show, oh, geez, so excited. I can't wait. I know the Lord is coming soon. So, you know, all we can do is just keep praising the Lord and praise his name. He is to be praised. He is, to, he is worthy. He is all those things. So we know that his soon return is imminent. While it is imminent, we shall be praising him day and night. And uh, I don't know, something just took over. <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. And happy Rosh Hashanah on this Feast of Trumpets.